Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming. Thanks so much for watching my channel. Uh, before I do get started, I want to tell you guys there's another <clears throat> uh, YouTube uh, channel out there, Top 10 Pokemon. I think that's what it is. I shared one of their videos in my uh, community page or whatever. But they've actually, they're actually doing really good videos right now, and I'm hoping to see them get more subscribers so it's worthwhile for them to make videos. But, anyways, uh, let's keep going into this video. I'm going to start off with this note. It says, Hi, Rusty. Huge congratulations on adding a new member to your family. I'm really happy for you, and I wish John and his mother the best of health at this challenging time. Thank you again for all the awesome videos and please keep up the good work. Nostalgia or nostalgia old I'm not even sure bird. Charizard Rusty Charizard or Charmeleon John. That's pretty cool. I mean, he sent this stuff right here. He got a Charizard GX and then there's a Charmander so that's pretty cool. Maybe no he said Charmander not Charmeleon so there we go so there's John and me. That's pretty cool. All right, so what you see in the background here, uh, I was sent this heavy Shadowless base set pack, and then there are several cards for PSA. These are going to be graded, the cards and that pack, and for that to be paid for, for the service to be paid for through me, um, I'll set two packs, and I'm going to show you those here in a minute, to... Uh, for me, I guess just as payment. But anyways, thank you so much for doing this, Rusty. These two packs are heavy packs. Bought as heavy. If there are any issues, please get a hold of me. Hope for awesome pulls, Sean Walton. So these are just single packs. To, you know, they don't have the box with them. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to open them up because this is the first reprint in Pokemon. This is the second reprint in Pokemon. And like I said, they're supposed to be heavy. So we're gonna try them out. I remember when I had my base set two booster box. I could not, for the life of me, uh, pinpoint down. You know where all the heavies were there were a few that were super heavy but then for the most part I mean it was really tough so we're gonna open them up normally I wouldn't open them up for uh, my personal collection but you know what there are some pretty cool cards in both of these sets so let's see if we can get something nice I think it's the fourth one back I'm not really sure well it kind of looks like maybe the third one so I'm gonna put that card off to the side so we got plus power Persian Nidorino Bulbasaur Jigglypuff Switch, Spiro, Caterpie, and they've got a couple of energies. All right, so at least I got it right, and it looks to be in really nice shape. Oh, it's a Mewtwo. So this one was definitely a hollow. Check that out. Really nice shape. Wouldn't have been cool if it was a Charizard. All right, next up we have the Legendary Collection pack. Um, Charizard's pretty expensive in the set. Dark Raichu, Dark Blastoise. Those are all pretty low pop. And then, of course, you also get a reverse hollow. So let's just verify that this one is heavy by opening it. I have no idea where the reverse hollow and the hollow rare is. Well, there we go. It's definitely uh, not right there. I'm going to say these two cards. I don't really know, but I'm going to just say those two. I don't know. This one kind of got a, a curved feel to it. So maybe that last card. Yeah, it was. I think that's the reverse hollow. Let's do those two. Alright, let's see what we got. We got Tentacool, Tentacruel, another Tentacool potion. Um, and I, so this is water based. Maybe we got us a Dark Blastoise. Dark Vaporeon is pretty cool, but I'd rather have the Dark Blastoise. We got Mysterious Fossil, Kabuto, and Onyx. Fighting, so I guess it could be Machamp as well. Let's see what this is. Oh, we've got a Reverse Hollow Grimer. This one's pretty easy to get in a Gem at 10, but it does have that line down the middle, so that's probably not the case with that one. And then let's see for the rare or hollow, Dark Persian. Now this one is actually pretty tough to get in a PSA 10, so I'm actually glad that I got this one. But man, it looks really nice. Let's check out that backside. Looks nice again. You know what? We may have a PSA 10 candidate here with this Dark Persian. And I think that would definitely pay for the pack if we could get that. Uh, get it in a 10. If it's a 9, it's not worth a whole lot. But anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I mean, we had some super high chance pulls here. And I didn't do too bad for the Dark Persian and the Mewtwo. Thanks.